When folks be acting up, I don't even care. I really don't care. To me, two weeks without makeup is a long time. <laughs> but that keeps me afloat. It is an absolute must. You understand? I would never forget 2022 as long as I live for many reasons. Let's reflect on 2022 and let's just play in some makeup. I have not done my makeup in two weeks. Oh, I have so much makeup that I need to use in one face. It just, I just find it so difficult. Okay, I'm applying my lip primer, you know, e.l.f. Cosmetics lock on lip primer. I know, I know, I know. But in 2022, I have to say, I am continually blown away because I saw huge success in my business. If you don't know, I have an S-Corp, Minadibia LLC, okay? I'm registered as an S-Corp, Google it. If you are a business owner, if you make a lot of money and you wanna save on your taxes, you should consult with your accountant to become an S-Corp, okay? Don't make the mistake I did because this is Milk Cosmetics Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. As I was making more money, I like, ugh. And doing my own research, I realized, yo, I need to become an S-Corp quickly because I'm making so much money. I need to save on taxes. Well, when I finally applied for my S-Corp, <laughs> it was too late for that particular year. I get the years mixed up because you know how you file for the year before that? Well, it was too late for that year. So I owed someone's salary in taxes. So <laughs> get a move on it, okay? If you are making a lot of money. So uh, yeah, that happened, which was just fantastic and phenomenal. I've made better choices now to uh, keep some more money in my pocket, invest, do all the smart, important things as an adult and as a business owner, okay? I've used this one or two times. I don't remember how I feel about it, but if you've used this Milk Makeup Mattifying Primer, comment and let me know. Let's see, I don't need too much matteness today because it's actually gonna be nice outside, but right now I don't feel too oily, so I just felt like making my face a little more matte. I don't know. It's been two weeks, it's been a long time. It just feels like it's been forever, so I'm just doing the best that I can. It has been ages since I used this Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is the color 65N. I've lightened up. It's the winter time-ish, even though it was 80 yesterday and, and, and even 80 today. This is gonna be dark on me, but you know, we're gonna make it work. I actually like for it to start off dark and then we lighten it up as we go along. So I joined TikTok, okay, which I was resistant. Oh, this actually looks really good. It's gonna be darker in the middle of my face because that is where I am the lightest and then it'll all come together. I joined TikTok and I was very resistant when TikTok first started out because I was like, this is annoying. This is what teenagers like, what, what is this, right? I am an OG ig -er, Instagrammer. So it just felt, I, I was resistant. Like it was giving very old lady status because it was like, you know, let me stick to what I know. I don't want to do all this new stuff. And then I was really pushed into it because if you're smart, you move with the tide. Hello? Those who resist going with the tide and how life is going, just fall behind. You fall behind, you're not going to do well. You feel me? Well, I had set a goal to be more intentional, more serious about posting on TikTok when I, of course, started off with zero followers. And I was growing, I was like at 5,000, whatever. And now your girl is at 21,000 followers. Like I'm sick about it because it's just funny to me because I didn't expect it. I get how people say they blow up sometimes on TikTok overnight because I was at eight or 9,000 and then I gained 10,000 followers in maybe a week. So that is wild to me. Now I get it, now I get it, now I get it. And that's amazing because what does that mean? It means more exposure. It means the ability to monetize even more on my TikTok platform, right? So the more exposure I have on TikTok, obviously I can increase my TikTok rates. Duh. So that is a good thing and I'm excited about it. I mean, obviously it's not a milli, but it's something because I had set a goal and it paid off. This foundation is looking real good. What do you think? Comment and let me know if you've been using this loving the it's giving medium coverage, but let me add some more right here because I've got a blemish right there. I took way too much. I took like three or four pumps because I was just overzealous. Look, it's been a while. I feel like I'm relearning everything. To me, two weeks without makeup is a long time. <laughs> and speaking of TikTok, I've had some viral videos. I have three of them. And virality simply means it has gotten way more. This is the Kat Von D Tan 177 Concealer, or KVD Beauty, excuse me. And the virality means simply that the videos have gotten way more exposure than you normally get, okay? So viral for me is not gonna mean the same as viral for somebody else, but these have gone viral and it's a shocker to me. I'm like, yes, okay, hi. And if folks be in the comments acting a fool sometimes and listen, I don't find my self-worth 
from social media. So when folks be acting up, I really don't, I don't even care. I really don't care. I, you know, I block and I, I do all that and I, I don't even care. I don't spend too much time in the comments anyway because it can be uh, detrimental to mental health. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it's, it's just interesting. TikTok, I was so irritated by it. I just felt like it was this teenage thing, but for my business purposes, I'm glad I just went for it and I'm continuing to go for it. I have goals for it this year because it's important. The smartest of us understand that you gotta get on there and you gotta be, you gotta be doing stuff. You gotta be doing stuff, you feel me? And I'm using this beauty blender to blend this out, obviously starting in the middle of the face and then going outward. This is the LYS Worthy Cream Bronzer, the one that's real dark and real good. <laughs> okay, I've also increased my quality of content. So if you know, I used to have the Canon G7X as my vlogging camera and I was just so sick and tired of that thing not focusing when it needed to. It was irritating to me. If you're a content creator, you just know that you need your stuff to work when you need your stuff to work. Not when it decides to work, when you need it to work, you know? And having that camera not do what it needs to do, what it needs to was irritating to me. And then I only had one camera, which is the one I'm using right now, which is my Canon 90D, love it, shoots in 4K. But then I wanted to have a second camera to get B-roll, to take with me when I'm out, to take on travel. Cause this lens that I'm using right now, which is my 18 to 35, I'll link it below, is really good. It's a zoom lens. So I can go from 18 mm to 35 mm, right? But it's the lens is heavy and I had been looking into other cameras. I'm not left-handed, so this is quite interesting just to even do this. And I wanted to have another one, like I said, lightweight, take with me, just another awesome camera. And I had been looking into the R5 and the R6, the R5. It would require all new accessories and it costs more. <laughs> so I got the R6 and I can use all of my same stuff, batteries, all of it. So I was like, okay, this just makes some old sense. I mean, it still was $2,000 and you know, I had to get another lens. The new lens wasn't too bad, so that was okay. And I love my new camera. I use it a lot for reels, but I also use this camera. It just depends. So I, I always feel bad when people ask me like, what camera do you use, what lens do you use? I have two cameras and five lenses that I just acquired, three of which I don't use on a regular basis, two that I use on a regular basis. The 50 mm for my R6 and then the 18 to 35 here on my 90D. But it's always hard when someone's like, well, you know, what did you use for this reel? What did you use for this? this video. I don't know. Sometimes I do remember and sometimes I don't remember. Cause sometimes I just bulk film. So I'll be like, oh, I don't know what it was for this particular piece of content. So that's difficult. But I'm glad I got a second camera. Cause if you're a content creator, you know the value of just having another camera. To get that B-roll, just to do a lot of different things. It's phenomenal and it comes through in the clutch. Yo, I need to whiten my teeth. It has been far too long. Try for little, good for nothing type of brother. Silly me, why haven't I found another Ebola? Then I'm gonna love me out instead of a scrub like you don't know what I'm mean about. And then you can steal my car. Driving me like something I never hear. Silly me. Okay, this is Glowish by Huda Beauty. Love this under my eyes. So let's do it. I alluded to this earlier, but I've hired an executive assistant. She happens to be my blood. I literally changed her diapers when she was younger. I love her so much. This is my niece. So she is a humongous help to my business and brand and a fantastic write-off, okay? Gotta be smart. And this is all gonna come together. That highlight under the eye, amazing. And you gotta spend money to make money. So having her in addition to my editor, yo, just, just goals, amazing. They keep me alive. I mean, I still edit my reels and my weekly vlogs. So that's what keeps me busy, you feel me? And of course I am the talent. So I'm just, I'm doing everything, you feel me? Outside of what they do, but that keeps me afloat. It is an absolute must, you understand? I also hired a bookkeeper. I mentioned this in my vlogs in the past, an accountant, so it's her team. So I have the accountant and then she's got the bookkeepers who keep my books each month. Cause in my first year or two, I was the one doing all the Excel. It's a waste of freaking time. Again, another write-off that is important. Spend money to make the money. Manage it well. I don't want to have an audit, like all the, all the things and just understanding what's a write-off, what's not, hey, what are some strategies we can use to just be, keep more money in my pocket and pay less taxes, that kind of thing, the legal way, because there's a way to do it. You feel me? So that's also been a huge level up for the business, you know? I'm going to use this Amekole. Yeah, I think she gummy in a Senegalese. Lord help me, I don't remember. Black African owned brand, new at Sephora. Skin Melt Loose Powder. This is translucent. And I'm just so proud. I love it. I know a little well off. You know what I'm saying? Nanga def, mangi fee. Call at me. Ooh, it's the rhyming for me. 
It's looking literally just like the Sephora translucent beige. And I'm gonna use this everywhere to set my concealer that I didn't, obviously everywhere except here, cause I do this one here, okay? So let's just do that. Oh, and this is a Sephora 79 brush. Last year also was the biggest year in my entire life for travel. Yo, I was all over the place, you feel me? It took a lot. Oh good, it blends in well. I have been all over the coast, you understand? I was in Dubai, when South over in Paris, Bermuda, New York, LA, went home to Rhode Island, Miami, LA again in Mexico. Listen, your girl is just a world traveler, you feel me? I am looking to put more stamps on my passport this year and I'm just excited about it. I just praise the Lord that, you know, the ability is there, right? Being a business owner, making my own schedule, running my own ship, you feel me? And just being able to go and that also be content. That also be a you know what I'm saying? Like the smartest ones know. The ones that get it, get it, right? It's so good. This is good and I like it. And this is looking really good. Comment, let me know if you've tried anything from Amicole. We're gonna deepen this contour just a smidge with this one size made for shade deep trio. I'm gonna use the middle one. Uh, there've been some changes in my life, right? That uh, have been quite a change, you know? And it's just been what it's been, you know? Lots of scares took place in 2022, lots of lessons learned that you know you just you can't read this stuff you can't read this stuff you can't prepare for this stuff it just happens and I know I'm not the only one right I'm sure that you have some stories that you could share as well I've learned that emotional regulation and self-control is a huge must times where I felt like I was good in that area I have been reminded or was reminded in 2022 that there is still some work to be done in those areas for sure okay same shade I'm using the middle one serve a little bit I want to deepen my nose contour i mean it was it was something different it was something different in 2022 and i just look back and through it all and everything i just thank god because it got real real it got real real in 2022 in many many ways i would never forget 2022 as long as i live for many reasons a lot of good reasons and a lot of bad reasons i had to let you know when you, when you know you know you pray for stuff i had to let go of some things that i have been praying for for a while and just be like you know what god if you don't do this i'm okay and that's hard i find that to be hard because it's like I, I, in my deepest heart of hearts, I want this that I'm praying for. I had to learn that, you know what? Okay, fine. I'm gonna just let it go. And if it is going to happen, great. And if not, I'm okay with that too. That is really, really hard. And it was really, really hard. But in all, I just have to trust God. There were a lot of tears in 2022, you know, and I talked about this in a different video where I did a get ready with me and I talked about money and all this stuff. You should watch it. And like I said in that video, I knew and felt God in some areas. I'm using this Elf Cosmetics Camo Powder Foundation in the color 610C. We're going lightly. So if you look at this and you're like, what in the world? Yeah, very lightly. We're not we're not gonna douse our, our head in this, okay? Complex Culture Powder Brush. I felt God in some areas and I felt like I didn't feel him in others other areas because my prayers were not answered in some ways I wavered I was like what is all this for why am I you know blah 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 but I then toward the end of the year last year realized wait a minute no he's still moving he's still working he's still doing things it's just not always on my time and, and it doesn't always look the way I wanted to look but he is I had lost faith but like I said there were some ways where I was like okay 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 all right all right all right I understand <laughs> I, I understand I don't agree, but who am I to agree, right? I do still have wrinkles under my eyes. It's natural. Am I leaning in for you to see? And so I'm looking at it like, I haven't done makeup in a long time. So I'm looking like, what's going on? This is natural. It's not the end of the world, right? It just is what it is. Okay, so in this kit, I don't have my prismatic, you know, cream highlighter. I've got the rare beauty one that I used to use a lot. So let's just use it. Cause I still, I mean, you know, it's still really good. So right down the middle of the nose. I came into a newfound womanhood in 2022 and it, it was very, very unexpected, a newfound freedom, a newfound livelihood that I have enjoyed and have continued into 2023. Oh, and in the contour, this was the powder brush from Sephora. This is the 59 brush. And this is a one size cheek clapper 3D blush trio. You may have noticed in 2022 that I let my hair down a little bit. You feel me? This is a MAC blush brush. There was much more enjoyment because it was missing. You feel me? And it felt good. It's going to continue into 2023. Every year, every month, every week, I'm just rediscovering areas that need to be rebirthed, fixed, 
just something, right? You feel me? And just needs to be tweaked. This orange blush is banging on my skin. Do you agree? Let me know. I use the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre to base my eyes. I'm not using this Benefit Java blush, actually. I have my eye contour color. I've done a few detailed eyeshadow tutorials, so make sure you check those out on my channel. I've got a playlist, actually, Makeup for Beginners, so make sure you take a look at that if you need some step-by-step -step detail, even drugstore type videos. So right here in the crease, we got this going on. Back to the conversation and using the Fenty Sunstalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. Ah, okay. I'm taking the darkest color in my contour, in my eye contour as well. Yeah, so back to the discussion. I got a lot more clarity on different areas of my life. I went back to the, not back, well, yeah, back to, I used to go to the gym many years ago. I was working out at home for many years, like three, four years, and it just got boring. And I like what this place offers even outside of the workout aspect of it. So I love going there. I'm not a gym class person. It's just more so to get out of the house, you feel me? So I love going there. I'm still doing keto. Hello, like, come on. It has been the only diet in my life that has worked. Granted, I have not done every diet in the whole world, but let's go, okay? I've seen huge success with keto. I do have a video of what I eat in a day coming, but it's just, there's been a lot going on, like I said. <laughs> I started it, I just need to finish it. And it, I've just seen a huge success. It has taught me, I was living to eat and I need to focus on eating to live. Meaning, if the food is great, fantastic, I'm full, let's put it aside. It's not compulsory to finish my whole entire plate. I learned through keto that I was overeating and and I was just eating too much because it just tasted so good. Like, no, not gonna happen. And I've seen, like I said, huge results in my body and in my appetite because of keto. So yeah, keto has been working for me. Again, it's not for everybody because it's a high fat diet. It might not be good for your gallbladder or your liver. Or, mm, I don't know, you know, what am I saying? But you know, you get me. So I actually use some of the bronzer to go underneath my eyes. I have not lightened up the waterline in a long time. That used to be all the rave in, what year is that? I don't know, I feel like it was ages ago. This is the Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the color Hopscotch. This is a silvery champagne color essentially. So yeah, I am focused on my happiness and healing and I really am looking forward to what 2023 is gonna bring in terms of my business, in terms of personal life, womanhood, family, every single thing I'm looking forward to it because I'm just, it, it, 2022 just happened. Go. It really, really did have to go, you know? The sun is shining, honey. Amicole also gave us a mascara. So let's see how this works on the kid. You know, I do mascara before my lashes. It's the black girl magic for me. That looks really good. I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, but looking forward, I'm looking forward to regulating myself better when I'm frustrated, upset, offended, hurt. What am I going to do to get myself from a 10 down to a one or a 10, at least down to a five for God's sake. What am I going to do to rebalance myself, reconcile when I'm feeling an extreme feeling toward anyone or anything, you know? It's that self-regulation that I've learned over the past year that is key because only I am in control of myself. We cannot continue to blame other people for why we said what we said, why I did what I did. It was because of you, it was because of you. This is not gaslighting projection one-on-one, you feel me? This is self-reflection one-on-one. I look forward to exercising that even in its difficulty in 2023. In my opinion, this is important for everyone, but of course I can only control myself, literally, not figuratively, literally. I'm looking forward to more enjoyment, more travel, because like I said, 2022 was just a test run. You feel what I'm saying? And we're going to Bali. Spaces are very limited. Link is always in my description box. Make sure you sign up, put your deposit down, and then you have some time to pay the rest, because we're traveling together. You can see me, we can hug and have fun. <laughs> this is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the color Strong. And I know that honestly, my life is in God's hands. So this year I look forward to worrying less and enjoying more, like I said, seriously. When I look at my life, I have it well off than a lot of people. So worrying less and enjoying more is definitely on my to-do list because I am grateful to still have life, breath, family, love, all the things. And I'm feeling spicy today. So I'm gonna use this Give Beauty Space Buns liquid lipstick. It's a reddish orange, so I feel like it'll complement the blush that I have on. And better time management for sure, because I want to get a lot more done in my life and in my business. Ooh, let me stop talking. Ooh, look at that. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. It's all in the blend, honey, all in the blend. All right, this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you are looking forward to this year in 2023. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.